Hey guys, this is a two part Canva tutorial on how to use an audio voiceover with an animated graphic. Okay, so right now let's dig into the audio voiceover component. So the first thing is you have to have some idea of the text that you want to say. So in my case, it was a quote. And so I just wanted to read the quote directly. So you have to have some idea of exactly what you want to say. It's kind of going to be your script. Um, and I'll show you exactly what it ended up looking like once I finished the animation. When a woman starts a sentence with, listen, I'm blank years old. She really means what the fuck she's about to say. All right. So I was able to post that on like Instagram, Facebook, everywhere, just kind of as a, as a MP3 or um, a video. Okay. So what you're going to need to do is to pre-record, decide what you want to say, and then we're going to pre-record it. There's a couple of ways to pre-record the audio. All right. And you want to write it out so that it's nice and smooth and you say it kind of at a great pace and things like that. So, uh, QuickTime, if you have a MacBook or a MacBook Pro or an iMac or any of the Apple desktop computers, you should have QuickTime. QuickTime allows you to record an audio. And so you simply open the, click the QuickTime and you'll see the QuickTime um, menu at the top. It doesn't actually open a screen. You have to click file and then new audio recording. Okay. And then that'll bring up the interface for you to actually record the audio. So if I go new audio recording, it's right here. And then I can click this little button. It'll record the audio and then you can save it onto your computer, which I've already done. All right. Now, the other thing that you can do is I actually have an Android phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 20. I use a software called HI HiQ, excuse me, MP3 recorder. It's a free version um, if it's less than 10 minutes, if your audio is less than 10 minutes. And you want these audios to probably be around 15 to 30 seconds tops. Okay. And so the HQ, um, H -I, the HiQ MP3, um, it records as an MP3. Again, you can record as an MP3 or an M4A. Those are the file extensions can be used. Now, if you have a PC, okay, I don't know exactly what you would use, but I recommend that you go to Google and just type in the search bar, how to record audio on PC or whatever your computer's name is. I also don't have an iPhone, so I don't know exactly what you would use for an iPhone. I don't know if you have QuickTime or not but it's an easy search to figure out how to record audio files. Again, you want an MP3 or an M4A file, okay? Once you've recorded your audio file, you're gonna upload that into Canva, okay? So we're going to choose the template to upload it um, with, okay? So how do you get to it? You kind of have to go to open a document any document, um, and I'm gonna say, go ahead and choose your template. So if I go to templates and then Instagram posts, right? It's gonna pull up the template and you can do this in advance if you like. And then I'm gonna look for the subcategory that says animated Instagram posts right here. And you can search for it, just animated Instagram posts right up here in the search and it'll pull it up. And if you're not a designer, you can just choose something that you like, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this file right here and choose customize template, okay? This is going to open the uploads section where I can actually click right here, it says uploads. And this is gonna be the things that I've uploaded. So you see these are images or videos or audio. Okay, and as you can see, I've already uploaded it, but you would simply go to Upload Media, and then you would search, browse to find the file, and then upload it, which I've already done, okay? Once you upload it, you can see this already had, okay, it already had um, an audio on it. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. It brings up this menu here, and I'm going to delete. 
because I don't want to use that one. And then I'm just going to simply click, all right, the one that I do want to use. And you see every strike brings me closer to the next home run. Okay. Every strike brings me closer to the next home run. Now, one of the things that you'll see, okay, when I click out here is that this is 6.6 .6 seconds long. If I select the actual quote, the um, audio down here in the bottom left corner, when I select that, you can see that this is nine seconds long, so it's getting cut off, all right? So I'm gonna click in the white space again, and I'm gonna change this to nine seconds so you can hear the whole thing. I'm gonna do 9.0, I'm gonna click enter and bring it down. And then now I'm going to click again, and now you'll be able to hear the whole thing. Every strike brings me closer to the next home run, Babe Ruth. Okay, so now we've got the whole thing there, and this is the whole audio, okay? In the next video, I'm going to teach you how to actually create the and animate the graphic and then have it all be one file. Okay, so come back. See you back for part two.